What does it take to be number one? Two is not a winning and three nobody remembers. Yeah. This your boy Carolina Logic, man. We back in the building. What's good, everybody? We got some questions, man. We got some questions to be asking everybody right now. There's a lot of stuff going on in Panther Nation. We need to address it. Class of this session, man. Logic 101 Part 2. Here we go. Check this out, man. What's it going to take to be the champ? Huh? What is it going to take to get from where we are right now as a team, as a franchise, to get where we need to be, huh? I got to know. You know, I got to know. You got to let me know, man. Where where are we right now, man? Huh? I don't believe we know, man. I don't believe we know. Right now, the draft is about to be here. We're a week away. Less than a week away. You got to tell me. Because I got a lot of people are talking about that they... They want a wide receiver at 33. Oh, well and good. You feel like Bryce needs some weapons, but I feel like there's a lot of wide receivers in this draft. I don't feel like you need to, you know, make it a, a guaranteed option right there at 33 to get a receiver when there's going to be plenty of them there. The reason why I say that is because this ain't all about just Bryce. This is about the, the team as a whole. That's how you draft. You don't just draft for that certain year. You draft for the future of your your organization. Right now, we need help in the trenches. You always will be. You always solidify your before you do anything. Other than a quarterback, you got to get your trenches set on both sides of the ball. And right now, we need some help. We got some off-field stuff. You know, we got some some guys on the off-season. Off but at the end of the, of the day, it will not hurt to get somebody right there at 33. Whether that's the defensive end or an interior offensive lineman, it would not hurt at all. You know what I'm saying? Would not hurt. All right. JPJ from Oregon. Zach Frazier. Liatu Latu. Graham Burton. Tavondre Sweat. Chop Robinson. Just to name a few. Just to name a few. Somebody going to be available. You really want to do this just to prove that, hey, Bryce, you need he need weapons for Bryce? Because at the end of the day, if he ain't the answer, if he is somebody that's about to get passed over for somebody else, what are you going to do? You just going to go get weapons instead of solidifying that line? Because the next quarterback we bring in, you solidify that line, still get on the weapons later on, he going to come in to abundance of riches. That's what he going to come in as, the next quarterback. If you just solely focus on Bryce, we got a problem, man. Because we got to focus on everybody. The future of this team, not just Bryce. So I need y'all to bring that down. Everything, Bryce, Bryce, Bryce. I did a mock draft and I put two receivers back to back. I got I got uh, uh, Ladd and I got, uh, I think either Leggett or Troy Franklin or somebody. Back to back. People went crazy. But that's what... You guys who are crazy about Bryce, you think that's what you need, but you got to address that offensive line and defensive line as early as possible. It ain't the most flashy picks, but at the end of the day, that's what's necessary in order for you to establish whatever it is you're trying to do offensively or defensively. If you got it there, everything else is just plug and play. Believe it or not, you got to solidify those lines. So everybody quit jumping around, jumping ahead of yourself in all this case. Trying to say that you want this or you want that for Bryce. It ain't all about Bryce. It's about the team, the Carolina Panthers. And if you honestly think that we, he going to show us so much more than what you did the last time, I'm sorry to say it, but I think you're sadly mistaken. It, is, it just is what it is. I do not believe he's the guy you think, <laughs> everybody thinking he is. I keep saying revenge tour and the comeback kid and all this stuff. That's all well and good. You're supposed to think that way because he's a quarterback on our team. But at the end of the day, we got to be realistic, too. All right? It don't matter what he do on the offseason. He's not about to be six foot three. He's not about to be 225 pounds. He's not about to be throwing 70-yard bombs. Okay? He is who he is. Now, they're going to have to handicap the offense yet again, regardless of who the offensive coordinator is, regardless of who the head coach is, to fit his play style. And his play style 
handicaps your offense, whether y'all want to realize it or not. He's going to be mostly in shotgun. He don't like to be on the center. They're going to be running a lot of quick screens because he can't push the ball down the field. Not like he's supposed to. He That's the problem with Bryce. Now, if you can get a system in there that he's comfortable with, which is one reason why I know they got Canales. Canales got that same type of system. That's why Baker Mayfield was able to flourish. He's going to bring that here. So his numbers will look better. It will look better. I'm not ignorant to the fact that, that I know he's going to be able to affect that part of his game. But what I'm telling you, it's not enough. Logic is telling you this now is not enough. So take it how you want it. But at the end of the day, if I'm looking at this draft and these people are available on there, you got to take him at 33. If you want to take a receiver at 39 next, cool, fine. You're going to get a decent one there too. That's just my argument. Now, if you don't agree, that's fine. If they go up there and they don't and they pick a wide receiver 33, oh, well and good. I hope that he can be utilized by Bryce. Somebody like Xavier Worthy, one of the world-class, you know, speed guy out here. I've seen it multiple times how a guy will beat the corner, get deep down the field, and then he can't catch the ball because he's got to stop and wait on it and then let the corner, who just got toasted, he's burned, get back into play because of the lack of arm strength. It is what it is. You don't have to like it, but it's the truth. This is what we're dealing with. We have to handicap our offense in order to be successful, and that should not happen, especially after what we gave up to get this guy. All right? Now, it's no knock against him as far as him personally, but it's just the truth. The number one overall pick. We lost our number one receiver and a bunch of picks, and here's our guy. And this is what we got to do. They know it. Y'all should know it. Accept it for what it is. Look at it in the face and say, this is what we're dealing with as a Carolina Panther fan base. It is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. What we need to draft for the future. That's the most important. We need to draft for the future. Not right now. At the end of the day, I would love to be successful now, but that ain't how it works. Unfortunately, we're not in that state right now. But what you can do is this this mountain of tree that's in, in our way. We got an axe in our hand. You start chopping at that thing, slowly but surely. Eventually, it's going to fall. It ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to happen with one chop. It ain't, it ain't going to might be two, three, four. It might take a couple days, might take a couple weeks, might take a couple years. You don't know. But it's a slow and steady pace. Knock at it. Keep working and keep working and keep working. And I think we'll be all right. I'm telling you. If you want to be champs, you want to get back in the South, if you want to establish ourselves again down in the South as well as in the NFC, we got to start fixing it. And it starts in that draft. Believe me when I tell you, we got to focus on the right people. Not what the fans want, not what the media want, what is best for the Carolina Panthers going into this draft and in the future for us. What is it? Good? What's the best for us? A speedy wide receiver or solidifying that offensive line or solidifying that defensive line? Huh? You tell me. This your boy Logic, man. I just want to come holler at you for a second. Give you a little perspective, man. We out here with it. Hey, comment, like, subscribe. Follow your boy on YouTube, Carolina Logic 84. Come holler at me, man. Black Cat Panther Podcast, baby. We out.